Bring, put it on the table. demonstrating how I make this oat into swallow mm -hmm. something you can eat with soup you know um, I'm doing it in reference to the recent video I just uploaded um, the shopping hall Lego shopping hall one of the comments in the comment section someone was surprised when I said I bought this because I want to be using them because I usually use them for oat swallow Yes, instead of porridge, the one you drink with me. So the person is Tochi Esther. If you don't know Tochi Esther, please go to her channel and check her out. Everything you need to know about coming into UK, jobs in the UK, life in the UK, housing in the UK, Tochi will load you with all that. Yeah, she has fascinating videos on all the above topics that I've just mentioned. Yes, yeah, so check her out and support her channel. So let's do it. Yeah, so basically, I would blend this into powdered form, yeah. If you buy, because this very oat is very strong compared to the previous ones I used to buy. Um, I use, any type of oat can make this. Just blend it with your food processor. Yes, any blender that you use to blend dried stuff, like dried ingredients, can actually blend this for you. All right, so I have my blended oats in this uh, bowl. Do not find finely blended as you can see it's roughly blended but you can blend your own finely you know if you want but you can either add water first or you add the oats first this is for three for me something and the bad so you can just add the water and you mix properly so you place your pan and just stir you just allow it to cook for about two minutes so you see, it's gradually sticking at the base, but you steer so that it doesn't get burnt anyway. Yeah. You see what we've got here, but you don't have to eat this like this. You need to add water and cook this. Make sure that it cooks properly. You cover it and allow it to boil. That's to cook properly. Yeah, so that's it. After about four to five minutes time and uh, it's ready, you stir everything together. Yes, from the consistency, it's, it's looking so hard. I definitely would add more water to this. Depending on what you want, you can add water. But if it is very light or loose for you, you can add gare or semol to thicken it up. But this is just wholly oats. Yep, yeah, this is exactly what we've got here. Yeah, I added a little bit of water just to soften it. So that's it. I'm going to be having this, or we are going to be having this with a goosey soup. Yeah, you can enjoy with any soup of your choice. That's it. Yeah, so basically, we'll wrap this up. I made much quantity that I should have made. Yeah, so I don't want it to like... Uh, Cool off or go cold quickly. So, so. Yeah, so I hope this uh, tutorial helps to anyone um, trying to learn how to make oat swallow mm -hmm. for throwing stone. <laughs> Yes, and um, a lot of people have been advised by their health care provider to start eating oats. Either you drink or you, I don't know anyhow you want to eat it. But you know, we Africans, we can't do without throwing stuff. <laughs> so you can basically alternate this or replace this. Yes, for your gari 
uh, semo, anything that you swallow. Yeah, you can use oats or some other healthy um, cereals. You can make them into oats. A lot of people, they make cauliflower swallow, coconut flour swallow. I haven't met those. You know, I'll still try out those in time to come. I eat gari, I eat anything, you know, but it's been 100 years. Even in Nigeria, I never met gari. But that's by the way, anyway. So I hope this video helps. Yeah. The next morning. So previously, um, this jacket potato, the way I make it, I would just cut into two, not really setting it apart, just cut into two and then put it in the microwave and it will cook. Simple. But you know, something I haven't made in ages. Yes. And I had to check a video on how to make it again on YT and I saw people punching it like this. Do not every of the video because I checked about three to four videos, but not all of them had to punch it with fork in this manner. But I just have to try this. We have it on three minutes. Yes, guys, you can hear somebody coughing at the background. That's Somto, he's home. Today is Tuesday. I didn't send him to school. Because of this cough, I don't know, since Sumto started school, it has been cough, kata, cough, kata. This cough has been ongoing in the last three weeks. He has finished four bottles of cough syrup, but nothing is working out. And um, last night we went to urgent care and they checked his chest, everything is clear. Even the dad checked the chest at home before we went to the hospital. You know, because he started vomiting. He had seven episodes of vomiting from uh, Saturday night until yesterday's night. Even as we were going to school yesterday, something vomited on the bus. And the lunch, he didn't have about 30% of it. And that was his favorite. Yes. So I was really disturbed. Not even the yogurt, he didn't open it. So I took him to urgent care. And then they advised her that he's going to be fine. Meanwhile, the vomiting could be as a result of uh, the Movico. That's the constipation medication. Yes, they prescribed for us because I checked the side effects. Uh, vomiting is one of the side effects. So that could be the cause. You know, whatever that goes into his mouth comes out. But at the process of eating it, the food is coming out. It's really been disturbing. Meanwhile, the Movico is working for us but I haven't given him since yesterday. And then, you know, I bought prone juice. I had to stop those things for now. Let's treat this cough and vomiting so that he can eat. Is it not when you have strength? That's when you can. Right now, he's over there drinking just a plain fluid. That's uh, water. <laughs> See him? He's just having water. So basically, I'm making this jacket potato for some too. Since it's not something that will go with spices, I'll just have to add butter. Yes, no cheese, just butter. Probably a little bit of salt to see if he can have it. That's what I will do. Because my baby has not eaten since, since from Saturday night, if he asks so, me. Two minutes gone, and um, this is the, the potato, but not cooked. I'm going to turn it over and cook for another three minutes. Yeah. I think, uh, I think it's all done now. Okay, so I cooked for about eight to nine minutes. This is the inside. After about six minutes, I had to cut it open in the normal traditional way, but it's all soft. So basically, I'm going to add some salt to taste. Um, this is sea salt anyway. Yeah, just for it to taste and then add butter. Fingers crossed he doesn't bring them out this morning because I'm tired of this. If I, look at that. So it's all soft. See? So the jacket potato is ready. I don't want to add much butter or the cone. I'll have this one anyway. Yes, let me also eat it because sometimes I like eating what my little boy eats so that he will because he's trying this for the first time so that he wouldn't be strange. <laughs> Seems I've made too much of this. Uh, I use this vegan salad cream. It means that it doesn't have egg or any form of animal product in it. You know, yes. I never graduate to so you go level that uses granite oil to eat salad. 
<laughs> you know the oil they put on salad. Yeah, the only place I usually buy this is from Tesco. Yes, even Tesco Express, they have this vegan salad cream. The Lidl doesn't have it, but I haven't checked it. Big shops like uh, Sainsbury could have it. Asda, they could have it, but I have not checked in any of these two shops. A shop like um, Max and Spencer, you know, they sell food uh, stuff too. They could have it too. So basically from Tesco, you can buy this vegan salad cream. No egg, no animal product in it. You can as well make it at home. Yeah, I used to make it in Saudi Arabia, but then almost... Since I've seen an alternative, you've already made, make a buy now. <laughs> All right, guys, come and join us. I hope that my boy wouldn't, <clears throat> fingers crossed, he would not bring the food out yet. You like your hair? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. You have a new look. You're looking at the TV. <laughs> Late evening. Oh yeah, can you imagine the number of clothes one person wears out in this country? <laughs> so this is the inner thermal trouser to keep him warm. He wears this inside and then he's going to be wearing this on top of this. And the Christmas sauce to go with it, matching Christmas hand gloves. And you know this one, <laughs> the Santa hats, the code. No be here. Jacket is not here yet too. I'm yet to bring out the jacket because when he finished dressing up, that's when he will have the jacket on. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus jacket. Eleven on top one picking body. <laughs> it's not easy. We must keep surviving. <laughs> you can carry it. Unbelievable. Right, dog. You're a strong boy. was the gift we got from Sumto school that was uh, days back we got this but I went to pick Sumto up and the class teacher was like I should go over to the office and collect this gift so when I got there they brought out this bag I was like what for they said did I receive my test that they have a donation gift donation from St. Patrick's SVP what that means I don't know and when I came home this is um uh, what is it called? A is it a bus? <laughs> this is chocolate. <laughs> uh, this is the cooking oil. Sorry, my love. Sunflower oil. Uh, this is a pack of crackers, biscuits, different varieties. This is a bus of chocolates, different varieties. This one, my husband has already, you know, now we don't deal with that. <laughs> we don't sentence this one already. And uh, this is coffee, oh boy. I think I should gift out this again because nobody drinks coffee in my house. So I should uh, find a way to give it out again. This is tuna, John West tuna chunks. Uh, four of them. Gift from school, oh. <laughs> this time around, it's not me gifting the school in Nigeria, but now them they give me. This is corned beef from Asda. I was like, I checked all their expiration dates. They are very far. 2023. Imagine. What be this? It's only in this country that I, I went to shop. I saw already made custard in plastics in the shop where they put cake and uh, dessert. I was like, no, cha. There is nothing you will not find in the shop. You know, custard. I don't even drink custard. Talk of the one I want to As in the one that is already made and put in the can. I think uh, rice pudding. Yes, I bought some of this for something the other day. Has not even had it. This is fruit cocktail. Different fruits in here. And that uh, was two. I want to Beef stew. Yeah, stew. Where they cook, put them for can. <laughs> But you go, you go food. This is really beautiful, to be frank. And uh, this is strawberry conserve. Uh, this is jam, you know. Yeah, strawberry jam, I suppose. 
and this is this is a bag of tea yeah can imagine from a school i don't know but i don't know how it happened though because it it really amazes me though when i looked into the office i saw more boxes of gifts yes and the next day i went i saw other people going home with that i was like oh, wow my husband too was amazed at it because we are not expecting anything from the school instead you know parents should always give to the school isn't it yeah but the advice is just the case here which is really amazing and i really appreciate your constant stopping by to watch my videos those of you from diana i sincerely appreciate those of you um my steady viewers you are simply the best thanks to every one of you so for what Yeah, awesome. Smile for me. <laughs> We're done something. Let's go.